Imagine a factory that never sleeps. No lunch breaks, no fluorescent lights, no footsteps on concrete floors, just silence. And machines, humming, clicking, assembling, all on their own, no supervisors shouting, no operators reaching for tools. Only precision, only code, only automation. This isn't the next science fiction thriller. It's happening, right now. From Japan to Germany, from Tesla to Amazon. Welcome to the era of dark factories, where robots work in darkness, AI calls the shots, and logistics becomes something faster, leaner, almost invisible. Today on Daily Logistics, we're diving deep into the rise of lights-out manufacturing, how it works, who's leading it, and what it means for the future of global supply chains. So if you're a freight forwarder, a supply chain strategist, or just fascinated by how machines are quietly reshaping our world, stay with us. Because this story, it might just change how you think about manufacturing. Forever. Here's the twist. Some of the world's most advanced machines are now being built by machines. No human hands, no human eyes. At Fanuc's legendary factory in Japan, robots build other robots. They've been doing it for over 20 years, entirely in the dark. At Philips in the Netherlands, 128 robotic arms build electric razors with just nine human overseers. And Tesla? They tried building a factory so advanced, Elon Musk called it an alien dreadnought. But what exactly is a dark factory? How do they work? And what's logistics got to do with all this? Let's turn off the lights and break it down. A dark factory, also called lights out manufacturing, is exactly what it sounds like. A facility designed to operate without people. No workers on the floor, no lunchrooms, no need for lighting at all. Here, machines do everything. They receive materials, build the product, inspect it, pack it, and sometimes even ship it. The only humans? A few engineers monitoring dashboards and from miles away. This isn't just automation. It's full autonomy, where software runs the show and logistics follows suit. But how does it all actually work? Picture an orchestra, but without musicians. The instruments play themselves. And the conductor? An algorithm. Every movement in a dark factory is choreographed. Robotic arms assemble parts with micro-precision. AGVs and AMRs, little self-driving carts, transport components between stations. AI-powered cameras inspect every detail in real time, and ASRS systems store finished goods without human help. It's a closed loop. Machines making decisions. Machines fixing themselves. Machines making other machines. Fanix Factory, for example, can run for 30 days straight without a single person on site. 30 days. And this choreography extends far beyond the factory walls. See, a dark factory isn't an island. It needs a logistics chain that's just as smart. Here's how it plays out. A customer places an order. AI forecasts demand. A truck dispatches itself. Raw materials arrive just in time. The factory builds the product, packages it, and pushes it out. All without a single phone call. This is Industry 4.0 in action. From digital twins that simulate factory flows, to predictive analytics that forecast delays before they happen, to robots in warehouses packing your orders in total silence. Welcome to the new battlefield. Agile, autonomous, invisible logistics. And the fastest supply chains? They win. Let's talk about the trailblazers. Fanuc, Japan. Robots building robots. Zero lights. Zero downtime. Philips. Netherlands, electric razors built with a 14 to 1 robot to human ratio. Siemens, Germany, 99.99% product quality in a smart factory that thinks while it works. Tesla, USA, pushing boundaries with gigapresses, self-driving robots, and a dream of full automation. Amazon, thousands of robots navigating dark warehouses, fulfilling millions of orders per day. These aren't prototypes. They're operational, right now. 
and they're setting the standard for tomorrow. Why are companies racing toward the dark? Because the gains are massive. 24-7 efficiency. Machines don't need breaks or paychecks. Quality. Precision that never sleeps. Safety. No humans in hazardous zones. Cost savings. Fewer salaries. Fewer lights. Fewer errors. For high-volume, high-precision industries, dark factories are a dream come true. But before we flip the switch, it's not all smooth sailing. Massive startup costs. Millions in tech, integration, and training. Job displacement. Machines don't unionize, but they also don't spend paychecks in local stores. System vulnerability. One cyber attack or faulty sensor, and the whole line can stop. Skills gap. Dark factories need engineers and coders, not manual labor. It's not just about turning off the lights. It's about rewriting the social contract in code. And that's where ethics enters the conversation. Quick check-in. Do you think dark factories are the future? Or a threat to jobs and livelihoods? Let us know in the comments. Your voice helps shape the conversation. And if you're finding this story valuable, give this video a like and subscribe. We bring you weekly insights like this. Every supply chain, every innovation, every breakthrough. Back to the story. Dark factories aren't taking over tomorrow. But the trend is clear. Every year, more factories dim the lights, more warehouses go silent, and more logistics chains become self-correcting ecosystems. For professionals in logistics, this means one thing. Your role is evolving. It's no longer just about moving boxes. It's about managing data, designing flows, and optimizing intelligence. This is the new logistics, the invisible logistics, Dark factories aren't the end of work. They're the next chapter. A chapter where humans build the systems, not just the products. Where work is about vision, ethics, and creativity, not repetition. It's not about competing with robots. It's about collaborating with them, about writing the rules of a world that runs while we sleep. So the lights may go out on the factory floor, but the future? It's never been brighter. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, give us a thumbs up and share this video with someone in logistics who needs to see what's coming. This is Daily Logistics, where the future moves. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, stay smart, stay moving.